November 14, 2010. Proof of concept for new heat engine. Basically, it's going to incorporate the flywheel into the displacer piston to eliminate one moving part. Maybe make it more efficient. That's the bottom. Here's my little top. And then basically I want, all I want to do now is see if the little rubber inflates and deflates whenever I put an energy source on it and manually turn the little flywheel. Alright, anyway, this is proof of concept. So I'm turning a little wheel. I got a cold side, but I really don't have a hot side yet. And nothing's happening. So now I will apply the heat to one side. Probably take a second to heat up. It's actually deflating and reinflating all by itself. And that's the little proof concept is complete all right that's a picture of the basically the core of the motor it's hard to look at the screen that i'm recording on but anyway you got basically a heat sink that goes all the way through one will be the cold side one will be the hot side this even though it's all different lines actually solid pipe and I guess you could build it by just cutting slits in it and these probably don't have to be rounded it could probably be just straight across really this is the displacer and basically it's just uh, it has slots cut that'll fit through the heat sink it's gonna be really really difficult to build and I think this little piece on this end over here is going to be, it's going to create a little turbulence in there, I'm thinking. So as it goes through the heat sink, it's going to kind of stir the air around and give you more contact with the heat sinks and improve efficiency. And you'll be able to balance, hopefully be able to balance this out, stupid dog. Anyway, that's the displacer. Oops. The little thing in the middle is, or the thing moving is a displacer. And we'll say that where the big side is, the cold side. All right, it moves around and you see it starts pushing all the hot air out of the hot side at this point. All the air is on the cold side being cooled. And the displacer just keeps shuffling air back and forth. And as that happens, the air expands and contracts. Not pictured in any, any of this is a uh, piston that will be connected to the displacer flywheel and the different air pressure will actuate the piston and create the motion.